Hey guys, Fedobobo here with a guide to find the camcorder tapes. Starting with the southwestern part of the peninsula. Find the containers. I'll put maps, links, descriptions, hot links to specific tapes down below. So don't worry about that, but head into this cave. And in the very beginning of it, inside a case, will be the first tape. Further down is the camcorder, and we have a video for that if you need the camcorder. But I assume you already have it. In fact, when you're getting the camcorder, you could just pick this up on your way out. And you can carry from that camcorder video to this one. Basically, we're going to leave the cave. And we have the beach on our right and on our left. And you're going to head at that angle. And if you're uncomfortable, you can just ride the beach on the left. And when you see an opening, you're going to go up. And it'll be this Geese Lake. But if you can keep an angle, it'll be easier just to do this. Walk around the edge of Geese Lake. This is the lawyer's climbing cave. We're gonna head down here. Be careful, there are multiple stages of this rope, so don't just launch off the edge. Make sure to turn around before you start walking, but you know. As this one, for example, would be a great one to fall to your death. So make sure to look around, use your lights. Check this area out. There's a lot of cool little lore bits here and a little story going on. That's why it's called the lawyer cave. But the next tape is in the lawyer's mouth. Once you grab it, go ahead and head back up. With the geese lake on our right and the mountain and beach on our left, head towards the mountain direction. You can head directly towards the beach if you want. And we're going to ride that for a little bit. You're going to go past the cannibal camp. Past a cave. If you didn't see it, that's fine. But keep on heading towards the mountain. The sinkhole is on your right. There will be a land bridge kind of thing going on on your left. Go past that and walk along the lake edge. So directly to our right is the sinkhole now. You're going to find a little rocky area with some shallow water. Go across that. So now the lake will be on your right hand side. And just walk along this edge. And the next part we're going to go across more shallow water. And up in this area, slightly to our left will be a tent. So go ahead and just walk up the hill and then keep an eye to the left and when you see a tent head down you'll start to see red bushes too so it's a good sign in this little camp will be another cave we're going to climb down head down the rope be very careful you can take a lot of damage if you don't go down this with uh, small drops we don't have the climbing axe yet but we're going to get it on our way to the next tape so just very carefully shimmy your booty down there if you want to see an opposite direction to get into the climbing cave, I have a link in the description we can do that, but we're going to get the axe in this video, and this way is shorter. We're going to run by the cannibals, but feel free to fight them if you want. And this part would be a bunch of cannibals. And, uh, hi guys! It's all one way, but I want to show it just so, you know, people don't get lost. In this room on the left will be the climbing axe. You can get it first or you can go get the tape first. But we're going to grab the climbing axe. Oh. Yay. <laughs> I technically already have it in my inventory. But that's the climbing axe. You grab that. Now head into this nice area. There's a big hole. Don't fall down. Walk along the edge here on the right hand side. You'll be approaching another small hole. You can fall down safely. And you grab the tape. Now you can shimmy your booty up. Or you can go all the way down and then climb up the other side. And we go back out now. Once you get out of the cave. So you see the mountain. Head towards the mountain. We're going across that land bridge that we just went across. Keeping the lake on our left hand side. Now if you go up towards this village, there will be probably some crocodiles, so head towards the left hand side, but it doesn't really matter. The land bridge is on our left. Instead of going towards the land bridge, just kind of go straight now. Uh, make sure you see the lake water on your left, but you'll find this cave. 
And here you're gonna want to be quite prepared. We're actually going to head into the sinkhole cave, so make sure you have a lot of stuff to fight or run for dear life. <laughs> There is an armsy and a few cannibals down here. You can do what you want. It's sort of difficult to just run by them because there's two layers of walls. I also had to turn off a mod API for this part because I didn't like what it was doing to the cave light. But uh, <laughs> this is just to show that you can do it, you know, in, in one run, no problem. Head down to this little part here. Collect some of these neat things. Head down the rope at the end of it. Now, you can use your climbing axe that you received recently, but there's one of the things I'd like to show is you can actually wall jump on most of these climbing axe walls. And I would like to, I like to explore all of these platforms to keep my bearings. But yeah, here's the wall. This is you're looking for after you go down. And I would recommend whipping out your axe because if you miss, you're dead. But this is sort of fun. Also, keep in mind that I actually turned mod API for this off. So this is this is just something that's in the game. It's been there for a while. Head down the next edge. Be very careful as you're hopping off every time. Now, if you hit this, I actually wanted to show this on purpose because I got a little disoriented when I did it, so I left it in there. But when you find that Bible book, it means that you accidentally went uh, a little too far down. So head back up, but don't go up another one, just up one, and look around. And with a something like a flashlight, you'll be able to see that there's actually a ledge and a, a rock wall. And you can jump across it, but I recommend using the climbing axe. When you get to the bottom, you're gonna go across the door. There's only one way to really go. There will be a few babies and a cannibal. You can run past it if you want, you can fight it. There'll be an opening in the floor, be careful. If you miss, you might hit some rocks. At the end is gonna be a pitcher and kind of like a teaser to where we're going. Now you can drop down or you can use the rope, but you'll die if you miss. It's a one direction. It's basically a hole right next to the rope. Some more cannibals. It's actually a couple pairs, so you might want to plan your energy appropriately if you're going to run. All one way still. All right, here's the other pair. The one behind you will have small difficulty getting through that hole, but y yeah, if you're not ready to, to run, then it'll be a mistake. Turn a tight left when you open that big room because there's going to be this wood wall and this is where you're gonna have to be careful because there's actually cannibals behind the wall <laughs> and you can turn it into a big mosh pit on accident yes now we just carry on but be careful, <laughs> it will follow you. If you're good, you can go across this without getting wet at all. Clearly, I failed, but uh, it is nice to keep your character warm by not getting in the water very often. And I like that. But you get to the end here. With an explosive, you can blow that hole up. But first, grab the tape. And you will have to blow this up. Now there's two armsies in this room, and you don't have to use the climbing wall on the right hand side, but um, be careful. I'm gonna get hit in a second, it's gonna really hurt. Yeah. <laughs> there will be a pedestal in the center of this room. I would bring a bunch of rocks or sticks for this. I personally would use rocks because you can use the sticks to make a save point. And you can, of course, pick these up after you drop them down. Three will open up the door enough that you can get your face through. And when you go through far enough, it will open up all the way. Through the door will be more cannibals. These I recommend to kill because there's another pedestal. And it's a much tighter room in here. 
slap some more rocks down, keeping in mind after you open the door all the way by passing through it, you can come back and pick up whatever you dropped. But uh, since I'm just running through and I don't care about the rocks, I do that. You can enter this really nice room, awesome bridge. I'd take a moment, screenshot it or something. There's a toy in the center. A toy part, my bad. And just keep on heading through. Now you're in the sinkhole. Last door, open it up. I would collect some of your energy here and just kind of like casually jaunt till you get to the helicopter, grab the machete. Now you can see the cowmen run for your life or kill them, staying on the right hand side of this wall, left hand side being the sinkhole wall. As you hold that tight right, you'll get into the water. Now, if you're running like I am, I recommend putting the rebreather on before you get into this, you know, this running away from the cowmen. If you're gonna kill them, it's fine, just do it at your own pace. But you'll need the rebreather or some awesome timing. You can do it without it, I've seen it done, but uh, they were they were dying a little bit at the end here. So rebreather makes this much easier. It's all one way, plus the rebreather light is awesome. Now there's one more tape we can show without showing you kind of the in-game area. Uh, if you're doing this, you're probably already okay with spoilers, but I will warn you a little bit that there is a spoiler, so just be prepared for that. We're almost to the in-game part. Cowman here can't get through the, the hole, so I would just recommend picking them off rather than trying to run away from them because it's kind of a straightaway. And you want to do curves and turns to dodge cowman. The arrow is a pretty good choice. And just carry forward. It's all one way. At this point though, when it opens up with a downwards rope, is the last tape before the in-game area. So if you don't want to see the in-game area, um, just you stop the video now. There's one more. You can use the climbing axe on the wall down there, but uh, you could just do this too. Keep in mind if you miss, you take a lot of damage. So at this point, if you want to keep all of these tapes, uh, you won't be able to get the last tape without really like cheating or doing something really goofy and then leaving. Uh, because if you die within the next area, you end games. So if you die right now to one of the cannibals and you haven't died within the last two days, you're actually gonna get shot up to one of the upper caves. So it's a quick exit. Now keep that in mind, going forward is more of a one way. Now let's go to the next part. So when the room really opens up, there's gonna be like three cowmen and a couple cannibals. You're gonna want a lot of energy to run for your life or just kill them slowly. See here, even though I'm swimming, I get hit by him running by me and take some damage. It's important to remember where you're heading towards because it's easy to get dis disoriented. Sorry, I can't talk. Now, this is the in game area. Stop the video if you don't want to see the end. All right, stop, wait. Uh, <laughs> okay, now we're moving forward. We're gonna get the last tape. You're all familiar with this. You need a key card to do it. I have a video for that. It's the same video as the camcorder video. So if you go get the camcorder, you should have the key card. And if you have those, then you don't need to watch it. And if you're watching this, you're gonna have to go watch that other video too. But they're all in nice aligned to each other. So it's pretty easy once you get going. Head through all of the one ways until you get to this room. And I'm not gonna explain that too much, but it is pretty spoiler in here. And you have the last tape. If you have any questions, make sure to ask them down below and I'd be happy to help. Uh, like I said, links for maps and timings will be in the description and comments, as well as I will put videos in the top right with a little eye thing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you out. And if you like this video, I have a bunch of other videos on the forest as well as some other games. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great day, awesome weekend, happy Friday. Take care.